Emmy carries heavy boxes, aiding her father in the house move. Formerly Emerson, she's a vibrant and clever trans woman. Due to severe pregnancy complications, she never knew her mother. Jack, her father, has nurtured her as both parents. Their bond is unbreakable. When Emmy decides to transition, Jack, unlike most fathers, wholeheartedly supports her. Jack, a budding businessman, prioritizes her over business needs. The transition process is agonizing. Post-transition, Emmy requires extra care. She battles pain and tears, with Jack steadfastly comforting her. The transition takes six arduous months. The doctor praises her progress, but the painful journey wears on Emma. Jack's presence is her pillar. Without him, she contemplates abandoning the trip. After enduring the agony, the reward is abundant. She's finally in her proper form. She proudly walks the streets, familiar faces baffled by her transformation, their appreciative glances affirming her beauty. College reactions vary. Congratulations and mockery intermingle. Christina's saddened expression is understandable as she favors Emerson. Yet, she stands tall as the beautiful woman she's become. Town chatter swirls while dissenters remain quiet before her resolute bravery. Emmy's swift slap leaves everyone in laughter when Tim crosses the line. Her stern gaze accompanies her words, I am beautiful and strong, don't forget that. Tim retreats, weighed down by shame. As time passes, Emmy valiantly battles the narrow minds of society, wearied by the struggle. Upon entering college, she seeks tranquility. Choosing a distant institution, she vows silence about her trans identity. She doesn't want society's mockery because of her identity. In college, Emmy met Arlene, her roommate and a kind girl. They became good friends. Emmy didn't tell anyone she was trans. She knew she didn't have to because her voice was like a girl's, and her appearance didn't hint that she was once a boy. She starts to see the benefit of it. Everyone is at peace with her. Many boys ask for a relationship when she goes to the pub with Arlene. Emmy kind of likes that, but she is afraid her identity will be revealed, and like the experience, she has to fight for her place again. So, she denied all of the boys' requests until she met Joshua, the new boy in the college. He's the talk of the college among girls. He is such a beautiful and well-behaved person. Emmy met him and instantly fell in love with him, like every other girl in college. But the only significant difference is Joshua also falls in love with her. Emmy started to fear that she had lost Joshua and that he knew her identity. She knows she cannot lose him. This fear makes her tame. She used to be fierce, but now she worries that no one knows about her identity. She is committed to spending all her life with Joshua like this because she's happy and at peace. She wants these joyful moments to continue with Joshua by her side. She noticed Arlene started to give her the cold shoulder because she spent most of her time with Joshua. When she tried to make up with Arlene, she didn't say anything, as if nothing happened. Emmy could feel something was wrong. Months passed, and she forgot about Arlene, immersing herself in her love with Joshua. She's in the sky, enjoying every moment with him. One day when she saw Joshua, he looked at her contemptuously. Arlene sat beside him. Joshua said, You didn't tell me you are trans. I cannot believe you lied to me all this time. Tears streamed down Emma's face. Her world shattered instantly. He left her, and Arlene whispered, You stole Joshua from me. I'm taking him back. Arlene proudly chased Joshua, and Emmy just watched with a heavy heart. Emmy, in tears, returned to her father, weeping for a day. Her father let her cry. The next day, he approached her and said, Come on, stand up. It's time to bring back the old Emmy, the brave one who could fight for anything. You're in the right body now, but entangled in the wrong mentality. There's nothing to hide. The world can be harsh, but you should be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. And if someone is disgusted by your identity, they don't deserve you. Come on, my brave girl. This is your time to shine. Emmy wiped her tears and returned to college. 
she entered the assembly hall and shouted, I need everyone's attention. I want to tell you all that I am a trans girl and I'm not ashamed of it because I am awesome. Silence hung in the air for a moment. Again, some congratulated her while others mocked her. But Emmy was back and if someone crossed the line, she was ready to put them in their place. She approached Arlene and thanked her for returning to her old, brave self. Joshua was now with Arlene, but Emmy knew he didn't deserve her. She was more incredible than he could ever understand. 